ladies and gentlemen, Rory Weeper and Rockers. To have the opportunity to sit and speak with you guys, you know. Okay, yeah. Don't misunder term, uh, misunderstand that term knowledge, because I know a lot of yard man is offended by that term knowledge, guys. <laughs> no disrespect intended. However, I really want to know about how did Stone Love get started? And where did Stone Love originate from? And how long Stone Love have been in the business? Well, Stone Love is in the business for the past 21 years mm -hmm. and over. Get started in Kingston. More lines were to be exact. Mm -hmm. I mean, were you coming out of the same era when you were used to have a studio or when uh, and King Tubbies used to have a studio? Were you, were you coming out of that same time period or was it before or after? No, actually it's after. After. But, you mm -hmm. know, I used to hang around these sets, mm -hmm. like Tubbies, mm -hmm. Sir George, you name it. Down in Water House. Right. Like that, yeah. So um, he was a very good friend of mine. Uh, so I mean, like... What has caused Stone Love to become the number one sound system in the sound system business right now? What do you, country, what do you th think is responsible for that? Well, it's, um, it's the people I'm saying, so, you know, so Stone yeah. Love is the number one, so it's, it's, it's the people's choice, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. by um, crowd popularity and everything, mm -hmm. the, the way we do our thing. How would you describe dance or music? You, you and Rory, as a, as a major selector, as a number one sound system in the world. Dance and music, yes. Yeah. Roughly, you can dance to. Right. That's all part of dance and music. Okay. Right? Right. And basically, you have, you have really where you just listen to. Mm -hmm. Last time, we just relax to. Mm -hmm. But dance are directly is that you can dance to, relate to, everyday life. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like an everyday life. Mm -hmm. Where did you get your training to become such a good selector? Well, it's. Uh, I got most of my, like, History of reggae music from Father Paul still. Mm -hmm. Last time we were like mixing and etc. We had the practice when I was younger, you know. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you all go about uh, breaking a new song on the sound system? Because you know, a lot of, lot of songs is preview on the dance or sound system. I call it dub plates. Well, like a new song still is a song where, like you have a new track, you have to play it over and over and over again because. People tend to take a long time to get used to a song before they get to like it. Right. So if you keep on playing it over and over and over again, so then mm. if that's it, yes or, yes or no. Yeah, so. Okay, all right. Okay. How do you like the way some of the dance hall, uh, you just define dance hall music as a music that you can dance hall. However, there are some lyrics that is used in the dan as, as we quote dance hall uh, lyrics today. How do you feel about some of the, the, the lyrics that deal with gun violence and things like that? What is your opinion well, about basically that? Basically, still, I try it. Break out that right now, you know. Try to break out um, like gun lyrics, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So this year we're breaking out of it. I probably it might make the younger youth them think kind of differently. More know? conscious. 